All right, I've had my coffee and we're gonna go out and test this out. So we are gonna be shooting on this 35 millimeter and can you vlog with a 35 millimeter lens? Well, let's find out. It's your, it's your guys' call. Um, we're gonna go and see, go for a walk. This is the only time I really go and exercise. I don't have a subscription to the gym or anything like that. So photography can save your life uh, is what I've been told or videography where you get to go out and just go for walks. So let's see how this all goes. Well, today we're going to be shooting here at this abandoned campground, so this is where I'm going to take my walk. The audio might sound a little bit off because I did forget my shotgun microphone at home. So this is audio straight from the camera and I feel like there's already a breeze coming. So we'll see what we get out of this and this is a learning experience for me. And I don't think I've properly introduced myself, but my name is Victor Tirado and I've been shooting photography for about 15 years now so I thought I'd just go ahead and create a YouTube channel so that way it can be uh, a place to learn a place where I can teach you guys something well let's talk about the future of this channel so one of the things I plan on doing here is getting interviews from other photographers other videographers that way we can get an insight on how they work and the things that work for them for those of you wondering what kind of gear I'm using today, this is a Z6 and it's matched up with a 35mm 1.8S and this is the S lens and I know that a lot of people say that a 35 is a little bit tight to shoot on but you can be the judge here. I'm about an arm's length holding a gorilla pod here with this and I know the Z6 doesn't have a flip out screen but it does have, I do have this little rig on the top, it's called a UU, UU rig or W rig, whatever you want to call it. I'm not really sure what it is, so I can see, I can see the video on the top. I can get correct exposure and see if I'm focusing, so this is also to test out the Z6's autofocus system. I've always kind of been a Nikon shooter, so ever since I started, the only other system I've really used is a is a Canon so but Nikon seems to be working out for me so one of the things it is yeah it's the tools that you use but it's how you use them photography really does definitely get you out so I'm usually always chasing sunsets I was usually on the run and this is what gets me out so again I'm not really motivated to sit on a treadmill there for hours or on a stationary bike and just be pedaling away. I like to go outdoors and just explore, breathe some fresh air, start getting cabin fever once you're once you've been stuck indoors all the time. So this is this is pretty good. Another thing you guys can start to analyze here is the IBIS on this camera. So how does it fare up with any of the Sony's or any of the Canons? And I'm gonna be making videos for beginners and also for pros. And it's always great to get inspiration from other YouTubers, so it's wonderful when you can tell a story through your work. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Get some snippets in there that show a story. All right, enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and see what we can come up with. Let's bring out the gimbal.
a shopping cart here. I don't know what the shopping cart is doing out here, but let's get some B-roll of it anyway. stabilized my gimbal I don't see how I can put that u-rig on there without throwing it off balance so it does come in really handy when you have a camera with a flip out screen and I wish Nikon would put one in those in at least one of their models but anyways this is uh, me vlogging right now on the Ronin S so you guys can see the stability as opposed to how I was walking this earlier today so hopefully the exposure is right I can't see anything once again so hopefully it's right is this the camera for you is this the lens where you can actually vlog with well only you can tell me that see if it looks great or not if this is the vlogging setup you guys are looking for I mean I can barely carry this it's super super heavy but there's a stabilization of the Ronin S on this camera and it kind of keeps going I think the setting needs to be adjusted it goes left and right all right resume vlog that is all for me today. I gotta get back home and gotta get this vlog put together. All right. would like to see some videos on here you'd like to learn something maybe it's not on YouTube and you'd like me to go ahead and teach you guys uh, just go ahead and leave it in the comments below so far if you've loving this content well then go ahead and hit that subscribe button that notification bell 